to Vlogmas day four. As you can see, we are right outside Universal Studios. We've just been in here for the day. And I thought for today's Vlogmas, I would take you from here over to City Walk, have a little look around there because we're heading for dinner at Cowfish. And I thought it'd be good for you to see how far away it is if you've never been to Universal before. So, like I said, this is the park exit. And just a second ago, you could see the Universal Globe behind us. So I'm just watching out for crowds. Ooh. I don't want to crash into anyone and we're just going to do this walk just to show how close everything is compared to Disney because it's much smaller and we've had a really good day here today it looked all day like it was going to rain and it didn't thank goodness um, but we did have our brolly today but the weather the last week has been warmer than we had those few days that were super cold but not super sunny and too hot so it's actually been really nice really comfortable temperature for walking around the parks so I'm going to turn this around so you can see some stuff and not just me so we are just going over the bridge and you can see NBC Grill Brew which is a huge sports bar you can go in there just to drink or to eat as well and I did quite fancy trying there but I don't think we will be on this trip maybe on the next one and this basically is City Walk, the start of it, so that's how quick it took. Islands of Adventure is over there, you can see the Hulk coaster in the distance. Then you have Hard Rock Cafe and Toothsome Chocolate Emporium are two restaurants over there. And Hard Rock also have events um, there as well, concerts and stuff. So if there's any sporting events on, this place gets absolutely crammed. I think there was last time we were here and there were people everywhere. We're just coming up around the corner here. I'm going to shout over this music. You can see Voodoo Donut, which is very popular. This opened fairly recently. We actually had our breakfast there this morning. I say breakfast, it was more like lunch. And just over in the distance, there's a Mexican restaurant. You can just see the pink with the red sign. And you have lots of these little pop-up kind of bars and different things around little clothing merchandise locations and stuff. And then they do have some actual stores here as well. Nowhere near as many as Disney Springs. So you wouldn't necessarily come here to go shopping. That's, there's not enough here for that. But definitely people do come here for nights out, um, all that kind of thing. Let's have a quick look in this store because it looks like they have some interesting stuff. So I think this is kind of gadgety stuff. Okay, I've just been instantly taken back to my childhood. These pencils where you kind of pull the bit out of the bottom and put it into the top. I used to have one of these, I loved it. That's cool, I haven't seen these for years. Bojack Horseman Monopoly, that's pretty niche. And Rick and Morty Cluedo. This is really cute. So this is a teething thing for babies. You can freeze it and they basically chew on it to help with their teething pain. That's really cool. They even have a cat shaming calendar or a dog shaming calendar. Uh, wow, how long were we in there? <laughs> it's literally got dark while we were in that store. That's weird. Uh, so we are headed to Cowfish right here. So as you can see, we're already in City Walk. It's that quick from the parks. We are gonna go and force some food down because as usual on this trip, we're not especially ravenous, but hey, never mind. Let's go, let's go eat something. Yeah, we've had a very sugary day today, which is not great. I feel like I've had ice cream, I've had donuts. It's not been a very good sugar day today, that is for sure. This is very exciting. Kate had the cheese bagushi. Cheese bagushi. So it's basically a cheeseburger, but as a sushi roll. This looks fascinating. Then we have some bacon truffle fries, I think these are. And I have the black truffle burger and the bacon coleslaw. So this looks very exciting. So we're back at Aventura. I did not <laughs> film how long it took to get here, unfortunately. That's my bad, I was supposed to. But let's head back in. And as always, it is very chilled and very quiet down here, which has been the case every day. And I meant to show you guys these when we were at All Star Music. These are from MilaMouse.com. So you'll be used to seeing the 3D ears that I wear, like the ones with my name on and stuff. These are also from Joanna. I absolutely love them. And let me just put them on so you can see them in their full glory. Maybe I can get Kate to just turn this vestibule light off. Ta-da! Oh my God. <laughs> Look at these, I love them. And she so kindly sent a pair 
for Kate and for me. So we both have a pair of these to wear and we're gonna wear them in Epcot on our last night here on Friday. So I just did a whole bit talking to you guys and I wasn't recording, so let's do that again. Um, so I was just saying to Kate this morning that I was looking on the Disney app earlier and it came up about Candlelight Processional, which is um, in Epcot at the America Gardens Theatre where they have the concerts for Flower and Garden and Food and Wine. And at Christmas they have the Candlelight Processional where there's singing and a celebrity or guest narrator. And um, anyway, on Friday when we're gonna be there on our last evening, Whoopi Goldberg is gonna be the narrator and I almost let out a little squeal. I told Kate and she's also super excited. I love her, I love her in Ghost. That is one of my favorite movies and I just think she's great. And um, I heard an amazing story about her the other day in that movie. So she knew Patrick Swayze and when they were making the movie he was obviously cast as Sam and they were casting the um, character of Oda Mae Brown. And she says that she auditioned for it and he said that he would not play the part unless they cast her as Oda Mae Brown, which I just think is so cute. And they were like really good friends and everything. So I just love, love, love her. I'm so excited. I'm going off on like really weird stories, but she will be there Friday. So we'll do our best to try and see her. It'll be super crowded, I'm sure. And a lot of people have reserved seating with the candlelight processional package. So we will have to see. But that is just my bit of exciting news for the day because I do absolutely love her. Anyway, I'm going to go and take these ears off because we are at Universal, not Disney, but I just can't. These are amazing. Thank you so much, Joanna. I'm not sure if she'll see this video, but she was so generous sending us the ears and she sent the exact ones she sent to me. She sent for Kate as well. So we're really, really grateful. And if you do ever want to buy her ears, I have a code, um, which I will put in the link below and it's DD25 and you can get 25% off all of her ears. So anyway, I think I'm going to sign off for today. It's been a bit of a random one. I just basically showed you a little bit of city walk and then just chatting to you here in the hotel room. So it's a bit of a weird one. Tomorrow we are gonna be doing a bit more shopping. We're gonna be doing some packing because we are going back to Disney on Thursday. So we're still here another night after tonight and then Thursday we will be going to the Polynesian, which I just can't believe. I feel so lucky. And um, then the boardwalk for our last night. And Kate is also super excited because it will be her first time staying in a DVC resort, so we just absolutely can't wait. And we're having an amazing time so far. I've met loads of you guys in the parks and um, yeah, we're just having so much fun. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow for more Vlogmas.